Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? If this is your first time here, why don't you consider subscribing? There's usually some pretty decent stuff, if I do say so myself. Today I am gonna be honest with you, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying something. Um, I found these awareness ribbon wreath forms at Dollar Tree, and I haven't seen them before in person. And every time I've seen, oh, every time I've seen somebody do something with them, it always looks like too much stuff and you lose the shape. And I don't know what I would make an awareness ribbon for, so I'm just going to intentionally lose the shape. Let's see. All right, so I want to push, are you watching here? I did this already with one of them. I just wanted to make sure I did it with you guys. I'm gonna push this part together a little further than you think it needs to be. And then a little further, even more. And then pull this up because it's gonna kind of curl back because you want this pretty flat. And I'm trying to make a swag, which is like my goal in life is to always make a swag, but not a giant one that I can't even fit on the table and not a little teeny tiny one either. So I think this may be an option if I can get my fat fingers around these little bitty skinny table ties. Cable ties, these are also from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna pinch it, tighten it up. I probably need to use stronger ties than this. But all my black ones are really long and I feel like that would be wasted on. Okay, so let's try stronger ones. <laughs> Since that's just ripped in half. So probably just wire this as well. Why can't they make pipe um, cable ties that like go both ways? All right, these are strong, but oh, really? one pipe cleaner that's stronger than this and it's like six feet long. Okay, I'm not going to cut that yet because I think maybe I can tighten it some more once I get this part together. And I'm just going across these braces right here. because I don't want them pointing backwards and scratching a door. Okay, so this is the first one I bent. I mean, I don't, you could probably just put a cable tie right here and be done with it. But let's try to stay secure. And every pipe coming up. I need a table. Can somebody build me a table that's 12 feet by 12 feet? All right, then after you have it on there, just flatten it out again. Okay, so now we've gone from like an awareness ribbon to a um, startled bunny rabbit with his ears way up in the air. Now I think the next logical thing to do is figure out how we're wiring this. Um, I think I would do the middles and then the outsides like here like I would normally do. But then this is... I can kind of use these to gauge how far they should be apart because, yeah, that should be okay. So we'll do the middles here. This is riveting content. This one is 
was just gonna have to. Because I'm only tying onto one little thing, I'm gonna just throw some hot glue on there to kind of keep it in place. All right, so I'm going to speed through me doing the rest of this, and then I'll show you how everything finishes up once everything is where it needs to go, once I figure that out. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. So on, uh, let's break it down into like this part up. There is one on these one, two, three in the center. There's two on either side of the center. There's one at the bottom of the O, I guess. Um, I will probably end up putting another one through here. But I'm gonna see what happens. 
there's two over here, two down here, one at the very bottom, and one where the zip tie is. This one is wanting to dance around, so tighten it up. And for this one, I think I'm just going to. Just putting a little bar across. I have something else to wire to. These are sliding around a lot more than they normally do. I think it's hope that that is 18 or less or else I'm gonna have to do math and we know that never ends well okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen um one two three Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. These are both like just doing what they want to do. It is about to rain, y'all. So I'm just gonna if if you're. I would never do this on like every wreath I make because usually the round ones they stay. I think it's maybe just because this is a funny shape. Or I'm not pulling them tight enough. But clearly I have Hulk strength now because I can rip cable ties on half with my bare hand, so. Okay, that one's staying. Alright, so 17. Let's do math anyway. Oh, it's playing Tomb Blast. 360 inches divided by 17 equals 21. So I can cut them at 20, which is what I've been doing. Pretty much. Alright, so... I hadn't cut my mesh because I didn't know how I was going to cut it, but now that I know, I'm going to go cut my mesh into... 21... 20 inch pieces. That should give me 17, maybe 18. Um... about the same as you cut for another uh, round wreath, but I think these are going to be a little closer together, which is fine with me. All right, so I will be back, and we can start putting the mesh on here. Okay, I have all my mesh cut now. It looks a little something like this. They're everywhere, because of course they are. It's got jute in it. It's got... Show you like that. Uh, it's got jute in it. It's got metallic orange and metallic brown. I don't have high hopes for this because it was like sticking to itself as I was cutting it, but we'll see. You know, there's a whole huge pile, and I don't remember. I just I just kept cutting until the roll was going, so I don't know how many it actually got. But I am just going to. Not really do like a ruffle, a uh, woodland ruffle on this. I'm just, I just want to get these edges rolled in. And I like the last time I did this when I put them. 
guess it is still a wooden ruffle thing I'm trying to branch out here, but yeah, because I like I like the way that ended up looking. Come on down. Everybody, come to the party. I don't do like real rolls, I'm just like flopping it over twice and hoping for the best. doing because they almost always use two rolls of mesh but because this is small oh it is small now I don't know what it's gonna look like when it's done um, I think I'm just gonna go with uh, one and if I need I don't think I'm gonna need more than one I don't know how much crap I'm gonna add to this read I also hit a lot of sections like this can you guys see that where it's just like all jumbled up Alright, so it is, that's cute, y'all. That is, like, exactly what I wanted. Except, right there. So, I'm gonna take what's left on here, which is barely anything, but it's enough to fill a hole. And also, you know, I'm gonna end up, I have some way too big things to put in here, so I think... I think it would be fine, but let me just... I mean, what am I going to do with this besides throw it away? So I might as well just... Give it a tight little... Curl to get all those frayed ends in. supposed to be faux dubioni silk um it looks more like lame to me but it's orange so that's good it's got all these annoying little frayed bits at the edges but i will take care of those later i'm gonna put these in here but i'm not gonna cut them off yet because i did that last time i was making a wreath and i had to go back and wire a bunch of stuff in So the um the form is from Dollar Tree. I think the pipe cleaners were from Michaels. Mesh is craft outlet, ribbon is craft outlet. And I am super happy with how this came out. Like I stuck it up on the wall and I was looking at it and I was like, alright. I do want to try with two two rolls of mesh. Or at least, you know, a base and then all of this can go over here now because it's just gonna get keep getting pulled in. Maybe later for you.
but yeah, this is now acceptably full. It was acceptably full before, but now it's just like a little bit of something extra, and y'all know I still have 14 pounds of stuff to add to this. The first of which will be, let me make sure I grab the right one. This is it. I have a couple of these pumpkins I made. If you haven't seen this video yet, um, it's coming soon, so. I don't think I've, I'm, I'm edited on this already. I don't know, I haven't filmed it yet, so I don't know which one is going up first. I want this to be, uh, this is hard for me to see. I want this to be like over here because a bow's gonna go here. I'm just going to like navigate my way through here. Okay, so I like that orange like that. And I have another pumpkin in the back. But I kind of like this one because it's a little bit smaller, but I need to add a stem to it. This one's just flat. This one has a little ridges in it. I think I like that. Like right here? I mean, that's like the perfect spot for it. Where am I? I've added a bow. You can see the video up here of me making the bow. It's just this stripe, this faux du peony, um, a canvas stripe, and a brown velvet, velvet. I had a red in there, but it didn't go. And then I made a smaller one. This is six inches, six inch loops. I mean, a smaller one with five inch loops that's gonna go down here. And I left longer tails on this one too. I'm sticking to everything. Because I wanna extend this. I wanna extend this bow without, I wanna extend this way without really extending the bulk of it, you know, just with some longer tails. Just feeding this through the back. I'm gonna pull it, tug it. Uh, guys, I can, I, I cannot. Um, my air conditioner went out last night. The heat index is 108 today. Um, I am waiting for somebody to come fix it. I literally cannot think, and I am so hot. Not like horribly hot, but just like extremely uncomfortable and I do not do well with heat because it gives me Hurricane Katrina flashbacks, so you know. Um, I left the tails a little bit longer and I'm gonna, what I was saying is I'm gonna pull that but not like, I'm gonna pull it snug but not tight because then it'll dip down and it'll look a mess. So here's what we have right now, from here to here, pulling over all my florals that we're about to start sticking in. But first I just want to... So here's the full swag. Here are my floral picks here. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's my floral picks, but they're my floral pick picks. Y'all can't handle my funniness when I'm like exhausted and anxious. I'm gonna start with the leaves because always with the filler filler. These are from Walmart, which I didn't know that I got leaves from Walmart, but apparently at some point I did. Gonna start with one. And move all of these over here. Alright, where we're gonna go with these. 
definitely want some, like, looking out through there. by the pumpkin. Come over here by this pumpkin. And maybe some of the side by the bow. Just kind of moving around making sure, you know, everything is even-ish. I love making floral, oh, not floral. Well, I love floral too. Fall swags and stuff, and race, just because I think the color is always so pretty. That's all done. I'm gonna throw those over there. I didn't think I might be done with those, but I can always go back and add more. These are also from Walmart. Just pushing all the leaves down because I'm just gonna get rid of them now because we're definitely not keeping those on there. Are we? No. flip these back and forth pretty often, which is all of that. Which is pretty annoying, but... See, I'm waiting for the air conditioner guy to show up. My landlords were out of town. They were both like, you need to go somewhere where it's not so hot. And I was like, I don't like going places too much. And I, I could go by my mom's, but um, I would rather not have her worry about me. Not that she'd be worried that I was like in her house. Just like that my air's been out for, you know, I'm guessing like 12 hours by now. But thankfully, it's a little bit overcast, so I am surviving somehow. Because I needed to, like, start pouring down raining. That would make me happy. So those are kind of evenly dispersed. How are we looking? I know it just looks like a big jumbled mess, but... I'm also looking at it through like a two inch screen, so it might look fantastic to you guys. Hopefully it does. All right, let me push these down to cut them off. I really want to add this blue. What do I do with the, um... I really want to add this blue, but at the same time I'm like, seeing every, everybody say like oh you know things in traditional colors sell better than 
you know, an unusual color palette. You know, like if you make a purple Christmas wreath, like you might really like that, but is it gonna sell? And a lot of times I have that in the back of my head, but then a lot of times I'm just like, I don't care. I just wanna make something that's pretty. Which is probably why I have my entire house covered with threes. Etsy link down in the link below in the description if you wanna buy one. There's literally no noise in the entire house. Y'all listen to this and being like, why is this audio so terrible if there's no noise in the entire house? To which I say, be quiet, Felicia. Some of them audio is like so good. They're like, wow. And then it's just like so terrible sometimes. Someone, someone else might uh, have the fortitude to deal with that. I'm just like, you know what? You can hear me. I sound ten times better than any um, person doing a live is gonna sound. So I'm good with that. Right, so let me go to my. Again. I'm gonna cut this one really short because that's gonna go in the middle of the bow. Oh, I forgot. I got a new pair of um snippers. My mom was like going through her shed that had all of Carl's stuff in it. She's like, "What do you need?" And I was like, "Do you have a pair of mini bolt cutters?" And she's like, "I got these." And I was like, "All right, I'll take those." They just look a little bit heavier duty than my um yeah, my little Walmart ones. Oh, I hate when I do that and I pick up a flower before I know where it's going. stick them because there is enough it makes contact with enough of the deco mesh that it's gonna stay and sometimes it'll, it goes like through the holes of the deco mesh and then they they're really stuck in there okay and that is it the only thing I'm gonna do now is go back and trim off all my pipe cleaners, which I can't even see most of them, so that should be fun. Here's some. Let me just trim these off right here. Pull them down. Um, and I need to go back and I'm going to hit the edges of this orange ribbon with a lighter just because it's a little frayed right there. Alright, so... Thanks for watching, you know, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. I don't know when, because I think I'm filming for September now, and it's still July, but whatever. All right, bye guys.